everybody, welcome back to another lovely crack a pack here on the Receivables Patreon Network. Host Cedric Phillips at Cedric A. Phillips on all the things. Most Patrick Sullivan at Basic Mountain on Twitter. Patrick, long episode of Tempest, all for this. Yeah, I haven't opened on one of these in a while. This has got to be bringing back some childhood memories. This is one of the last sets that I just like would go to the store and just buy three packs and open them up. Dude, I'm. I'm, that's so cool. Yeah, that's that's when magic is just awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna be cracking these in a minute and telling you how you can win them. But first, we gotta give a shout out to our sponsors of our crack a pack, starting with our friends over at Tales of Adventure. You can head over to toamagic.com and check out a selection of over 77,000 SKUs in stock, including 80 pieces of the Power Nine, every single revised dual land, and 99% of standard cards for those of you playing in standard RCQs this season. Every order placed with Tales of Adventure comes with free track shipping. UPS next day and two day shipping is offered for orders placed before 8 a.m. And Tales of Adventure has completed over 1 million orders lifetime. So you know you'll be in good hands with Michael Caffrey and his staff. If you'll be attending an event that Tales of Adventure will be at, when you're checking out, you can select the event pickup option. So you can simply pick up the cards you've ordered right at the event you'll be at. You can find a list of events that Tales of Adventure will be at attending on their homepage, toamagic.com. Lastly, when checking out, be sure to use promo code RESLEAVABLES to get 5% off your entire order. Tales of Adventure, Eternal lives here. And we can't forget about our friends over at Coalesce Apparel and Design. You can head over to coalesceapparel.shop, the number one source for Magic the Gathering inspired apparel, to check out their selection of shirts, hoodies, stickers, play mats, and a whole bunch more. If you find something you like, be sure to use promo code RESLEAVABLES at checkout to save 10% off your order. Coalesce Apparel and Design, nobody made what they wanted, so they made it themselves. All right, the shilling is out of the way, but the people want to know how they get to play with one of these packs. Oh, well, if you head over to patreon.com slash the resleevables, you can subscribe at a variety of tiers to get access to the Unsleep podcast and a variety of other benefits. At the $10 or $25 tier, one of the benefits is that you are automatically drawn into these pack drawings. Whenever we are done reviewing a set, we open one pack on the air, which we're about to do here with Tempest, and one pack is given out to one of our lucky Patreons. You don't need to sign up or notify us or anything. It's automatic, and because we have your address uh, due to Patreon, easy to send out. That's so right. Just automatic at the $10 or $25 tier. All right, here we go. Uh, even, we open this one, odd, we open that one, one die. Even, odd, we're opening this one, this one goes to one lucky winner. And, uh, speaking of Tales of Adventure, yeah, make sure to be following it, TOA Michael. True. I just bought a power artifact today. <laughs> below, below recent eBay comps. That's a blue card? Yeah. Okay. I don't really know what it does. It's an enchant artifact. You can, it goes infinite with, like, base alt mana. Okay, sure. All right, sure. I like to shuffle, even though we're at a point where I wouldn't know where the rare is. Okay. Uh, right. Remember, we're coming across three rows. Yeah. All right, here we go. Hatchwork gnome. Not bottle gnomes. Okay. Uh, three mana, two one. Choose and discard a card. Regenerate. They've reprinted this before. Yeah, that was in yeah. Odyssey block. The red green deck. The red green madness deck. Violent eruption. Madness enabler. Yes. Okay. If you had that and a and a, a violent eruption, you could trade with the roar of the worm. I was told that by someone trying to tell me to push the deck. They're trying to get me to play the deck at a BTQ. Noted. Yeah. Good to know. What really if they don't block? Know. What if they have <laughs> what if they have wonder in their graveyard? What if they have anything? Right. <laughs> With that. Ooh. Bellicose Sentry. Blue and colors for a one-two shadow. A very honest shadow creature here. Right. Just here to Good at block. blocking, yeah, sort of. Better at blocking shadow than yeah. attacking. Okay. Crown of Flames, single red, give an enchanted creature fire breathing, and you can pay red to put it back to your hand. Uh, definitely not the rare, no. and uh, an honest day's work there as far as a, uh, they call them enchant creatures back in the day, but in, as an aura is concerned. Mm -hmm. Okay. Stack damage superstar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this actually works even without stacking damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, yeah. sweet card. Grave Digger. One black, three colors, two, two, enters the battlefield, return a creature from graveyard to your hand. Limited staple throughout the uh, mid aughts. You don't really do this in limited very much anymore, though. No, it, it's pretty like boring, repetitive, and can get loopy. They like to do the spells 
like to the extent that like the recursion, it's like spells that get back too. Yeah. Because it's it's both more appealing and not about doing the same thing over and over again. Or it feels like they do conditional grave walker, uh, grave diggers. Yeah. Like if something died, right. you can do this, but you can't just loop them anymore. Yeah. Those days are over. Yeah. But those were the good old days. Dream cache. Is this this feels like the this is a, this, no? This is a reprint from Mirage. Okay. Okay. Uh, blue two colorless sorcery, draw three cards, choose two cards from your hand and put them both on either the top or bottom of your library. Okay. So it's like brainstorming with a shuffle built in. Oh, nice. You gotta pay a little more for that. Oh, yeah. But, quite a bit. You, you, yeah, <laughs> but, but it does what it does. But you get right. it. Uh, Avenging Angel. Mm -hmm. White, white, three, three, three flying. If Avenging Angel is put into any graveyard from play, you may put Avenging Angel on top of its own slot. This is the rare. Yeah, I know that. Okay. Got it. Ooh, Pincher Beats. <clears throat> uh, green, two colors, three, one, Shroud. Good luck with that one. All right, just beating down. Yeah, pretty aggressive beetles. Okay. Okay. Ooh, Candy Wildcats. Uh, red and colorless, uh, two, one, Mountain Walk. Okay, nice. Very honest. It, it, what's interesting is red is so loaded in this set that in most sets kind of around this era, this would have easily been the best red beat down creature. Okay. And then even Sniff constructed because Fanatic, Fire Slinger, I was gonna the say Mogs, Fire Slinger. Jungle yeah. Pup, all that. Yeah, not just not good enough. Wicked Sliver. This is probably the most expensive card. Uh, one blue, one colorless, one one. All slivers gain flying. Okay, I'm gonna do a price check on Wicked Sliver while you keep going. Okay, I'm curious now because it is an old sliver, so it probably is expensive. Yeah, and this is a sicko too. I mean, in, in, back when this was a constructed deck, this was the thing that made the whole thing hum. That's how you win. Yeah, it's like having Wonder and Blue Green Madness. Okay, go ahead. What we got? Legacy Ooh. playable. We got Dread our, of Night. We got ourselves a hater. I've never cyborged this card, but I know people who have. Single black enchantment. All weird creatures get minus one, minus one. Uh, so Wing and Sliver is 37 cents. Okay. So we're not doing much there. But Dread of Night, I think, is probably a little more expensive because it is seeing more play. We have a hit. Yeah. This is probably the most, I think this is the most expensive card we've opened so far. Okay, okay. Ancient Tomb. Yo! Okay. I think now that's a hit. Going. I think now that's a legit hit. Now we're going to the phone. All right. Ancient Tomb. Uh, it's a land task with two colorless and you take two damage. Okay, this has got to be something. Yeah. Okay, let's scroll Come through Come on, here. baby. Let's scroll through. For once in our lives. Oh, pictures. <laughs> Come on. Okay, here we go. Here we go. From Tempest? Yeah. Huh. $96. Let's go! go! Let's go! All right, that's a nice hit. Ooh, canopy spider, kind of like an opposite pincher spider. One green and one colorless, one three uh, reach. Just hang it. Yeah. Ready to block a flyer. Oh my god. Uh, oh. we got a, we got a little combo pack. Oh my god. I think that's probably about ten bucks. Uh, I kind of want to take the over. Okay. I want to take the over. Uh, yeah, I win. Eighteen ninety four. Wow, this is like a so we're up to like a hundred and fifteen out of this pack. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Easy. All okay. right, well, sacrifice the lowest battle and uh, get a man of any color. Ooh, spinal graft. This is a sweet one. Black and colorless uh, enchant creature gets plus three plus three, and uh, if it's the target of an ability, uh, the creature dies and can regenerate. Got it. Okay. I believe this was in. The Tempest Block Pro Tour, I believe this was in Andrew Wolf's top eight mono black beat down deck. Okay, we'll find out soon enough when we get there on tournament edition. Put that on Shadow Creature. Good. Yeah, oh. that's good. All right, last. Our first buyback card. Ooh, is that anoint? No, anoint, okay. Uh, white instant buyback of three mana, prevent up to three damage to any creature. Okay, you know what? We did some solid work here. This is nice. Finally. Okay, so there's always that person in the YouTube comments that always is like, hey, this is how much the pack is worth and prices it out. I don't know your screen name right now, but you better be in there for this episode. I want to know exactly how we did. I mean, we're over $100. Oh, easy. Yeah. Easy, easy. So we have finally done We haven't even something. looked up the Avenging Angel yet. That's true. That could be like two Who even knows? Yeah, who knows? Is you're right. This feels nice. This feels good. But you know what this means? This means that there's some real potential for somebody to actually like, get some work done here because this is an this is an uncommon. Yes. This is a common. Yes. So we're talking about some big money in this set. Right. And uh, to one lucky winner, uh, I hope I'm doing this right, McLean Nugent, you win 
the booster pack of Tempest. So congratulations to you. If you're if you do just as good as we did, this is yeah, this was not bad. A hundred bucks. Yeah. Right. And there's a there's a high ceiling here. So best of luck and congratulations to our winner again, McLean Nugent. Uh, Got to give a shout out, of course, to our friends over at Tales of Adventure. Of course, use promo code Receivables to get 5% off your order. Give a shout out to our friends at Coalesce Apparel and Design. Use promo code Receivables to get 10% off your order. And our next one of these, Stronghold. Yeah, Mox Diamond. Mm -hmm. Ever heard of it? I'm Sliver familiar. Queen. Ever heard of it? I'm familiar. There's probably some good commons and uncommons in that set too. Yeah, probably. And then we get to Exodus. City of Traders. Ever heard Ooh. of it? Yeah. Could build a little deck over here. A little something brewing. Yeah. A little something brewing here. Along with all the stone rains we got in the portal booster. <laughs> we got a deck going. What was that? What was that deck called? Gargantuans. Right, right. Gargantuans. Yeah, we got really something cooking here. So uh, that's it for Tempest. Stronghold coming up on our next episode of Crack a Pack. Thank you all so much for watching.